From his initial rise to stardom to the controversies and hardships that led to his fall from grace, here's the story of how Nam Taehyun went from one of the most loved winner members to one of the most controversial figures in K-pop. Nam Taehyun had a very promising start, but then things turned around for the worse very early on. In October of 2016, it was announced that Taehyun would be taking a break from his activities because of his declining mental health. YG Entertainment went on to say that Taehyun has been having these issues ever since he was a trainee, but they became harder to handle over time. Because of his mental health, the company decided to postpone Winner's scheduled comeback. But despite the company stating the reason for his hiatus, it didn't stop netizens from speculating. They thought that the reason for his absence was because he'd been drifting away from the other members and was planning on leaving. Some people took notice of how Taehyun wasn't at Winner's dorm or spending a lot of time with the members. Social media photos also show him apart from the group at different events, suggesting there might be some disagreements among them. It didn't help that Taehyun kept releasing self-composed tracks on SoundCloud, despite there being no official news about Winner's comeback. One of his songs, Who Cares, has sparked speculation that it might be about his separation from Winner, with the lyrics expressing feelings of farewell, not caring about others' opinions, and a sense of being alone. Then, in November of 2016, YG gave the most unexpected news that fans could imagine. Not only were two NE1 disbanding, but Taehyun had also officially departed from Winner. According to YG, due to Taehyun's mental health issues, it became impossible for him to carry on his promotions. The company stated that they believed the pressure on Taehyun was causing issues for the group and they could no longer continue halting Winner's promotion, considering they had only been a group for two years at that point. Taehyun also wrote a letter to his fans, thanking them for their support and promised to continue making good music. The struggles continued even after he left, but he did try to make a name for himself. He set up his own agency in April of 2017, naming it South Buyers Club. Reports said that he received lots of offers from agencies who asked him to sign with them, but ultimately decided to found his own agency, manage his own band, and produce music as the band's center. He also formed his own indie boy band called South Club in 2017. However, the state of his mental health didn't improve. Taehyun made a series of worrying posts in August 2017, which were possibly triggered by all the hate he was getting after leaving Winner. In addition to the rumors of him not getting along with the members, he really wasn't the fan's favorite. In an episode of Video Star, he opened up about his financial struggles after he left YG Entertainment. According to Taehyun, he did the styling for the members of his indie band and paid employees with his own money, or even took out loans. But at least he was happy with what he was doing. Taehyun said that a big chunk of his stress was caused by being followed around by the staff wherever he went. There also came a time when he didn't enjoy working on his music, since he started to struggle coming up with lyrics and hooks that would fit the style of the group. So, it seemed like being in control of what he does and what music he puts out must have been a big relief to him. But just when you thought things were going well for him, everything managed to go downhill in 2019. First, he was embroiled in one of the worst scandals of his career. At the time, Taehyun was dating singer Yoong Jae-in. The two confirmed their relationship in April of 2019 and were very affectionate with each other publicly. Overall, everyone seemed very happy, with fans congratulating the couple for breaking the dating norms in K-pop at the time. Only two months after their relationship was made public, Ji-in accused Taehyun of cheating on her. Jae-in posted a few Instagram pictures, revealing that another woman had messaged her to share that Taehyun was cheating on her and had lied about his relationship status. According to the woman, Taehyun pretended to have broken up previously with Jae-in, but told the woman that the agency hadn't disclosed their status yet. Ji-in went on to say that admitting to the relationship had put her company in a difficult position and even got her hate from his fans, but Taehyun had insisted that they make their relationship public despite the consequences. She also said she ended up cutting contact with her Studio Vibes cast members because Taehyun would get angry whenever she would try to talk in the group chat. Netizens condemned him for such an act. The comments also praised Jae-in for coming forward with her accusations and not letting him get away with anything. He apologized to both women and Jae-in ended up accepting his apology, seeking to move on and promising to cheer him on in the future. The Korean public, on the other hand, wasn't as forgiving as Taehyun had hoped. He started dropping out of projects and getting edited out of shows as netizens had made their stance clear. They didn't want him on the TV. Then, shortly after he made his appearance for the first time since his cheating scandal, his close friend Sully passed away in October of 2019. He posted his thoughts, expressing that he didn't want to lose any more friends, adding that he gets malicious comments regularly, and that he'd even attempted to take his life in the past. Taehyun went on to say, My friend, I wonder how much pain she was in. I, as well, didn't think I could stand much more, and there was a time I tried to take my own life. He added that it was hard to ignore these comments since his name kept rising in search rankings. In November of the same year, the agency he set up had dissolved and he and his band signed with PNB Entertainment. He said that it had been hard 
hard running his own company, so they found a more established system and support. Only a few days later, his other friend Guhara tragically took her own life. Fans were understandably worried about his mental state, seeing as he'd spoken out about the effect of malicious commenters only a month before. In a live stream in February of 2020, he broke down. In the live stream, he shared how tough it had been for him to write music lately, since he was unsure about what kind of songs to create and finding it challenging to come up with songs that resonate with the public. Fans were taken aback when he apologized for his behavior after leaving Winner and begged them to stop hating him. He admitted to becoming a bad person and expressed fear every day. It got worrying the next day when he started crying and shared how tough things have been. He asked for support for his music and apologized again. He also mentioned medicine for depression and startled fans by mentioning a gun. Taehyun apologized to fans for worrying them, but his mental state didn't get any better. In fact, things only got worse. In August of 2022, Seo Minje, a contestant from Heart Signal 3, accused Taehyun of using illegal substances and harming her physically. She shared her story on Instagram, posting a selfie with Taehyun and alleging, Nam Taehyun does fill upon. His syringe is either in my room or in my office cabinet. He also hit me. Though the selfie has been deleted, Minje uploaded other pictures of them together, each time stating different things. She also mentioned having a recording on her phone without specifying its content and revealed that they were once in love. On August 21st, the Seoul Yongsan police station initiated an internal investigation into Taehyun's alleged substance use. Shortly after news of the police investigation broke, Min Jae retracted her accusations on Instagram saying that they were made when the two had a heated fight which had occurred after she'd taken an excessive amount of medication. Min Jae revealed she was hospitalized for treatment and had reconciled with Taehyun in the meantime. Later, on August 26, both Min Jae and Taehyun were taken into custody on suspicion of illegal substance use. They were called in for investigation and questioning to determine if they had ever used illegal substances. In the meantime, Taehyun also had a DUI accident, which he was fined 6 million Korean won for, but he had bigger fish to fry. In May of this year, the Yongsan police station in Seoul requested an arrest warrant for the two on charges of violating the Narcotics Control Act. On May 18th, the court planned to interrogate the suspects before deciding on the arrest. Authorities had reason to believe that the two may have attempted to destroy evidence related to the case, but as of June 2023, nothing has been determined. On the other hand, Taeyun has been pretty open about his struggles with substances since the news hit the internet. In an episode of KBS's In-Depth 60 Minutes, he confessed that his reliance on prescription pills and diet pills during his promotion days led to a downward spiral. As the pandemic hit, his depression worsened due to fewer opportunities, pushing him towards harder substances. Regretting his initial curiosity, Taehyun revealed his increasing dependence on these substances with the consequences extending beyond his mental and physical health. They left him financially shattered with massive debts and lost contracts, forcing him to sell his properties. If it makes you feel better, though, he's taking steps towards his recovery. In a video posted on the YouTube channel Kizzle, Taehyun opened up about his current journey through an addiction rehabilitation center in Incheon. Taehyun said that he was committed to recovery and his contemplation of a new path for life. He disclosed that he was doing so much better and took the time to warn others against using substances. It's best not to judge Taehyun for his actions as it seems like he's been through an awful lot of things. From losing his closest friends to going through difficult times as a K-pop idol, he ended up doing things that he now regrets. But he does deserve a second chance, don't you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.